your new business on Instagram needs to run ads so that you can make sales as quick as possible. Hello guys, my name is Mena Essi. If you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're old here, thank you for sticking and staying. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I run effective ads for my online business on Instagram. Let's get cracking. Instagram only allows business pages and then creator pages to run ads. Now, because we are aiming towards a business page, I'm going to show you how you can switch from your personal page to a business page. Now, look at the upper right hand side of this page. You see three lines over there. You click on it. It's called the hamburger. You click on it and this menu will pop up. When the menu pops up, you click on settings and privacy. Now, after clicking on the settings and privacy, it will take you to this page where it says account center notifications time spent creator tools and controls you click on the creator tools and controls and then you click on switch account type after clicking on switch account type this menu will also pop up that says switch to personal account switch to business account and because we are aiming for a business page we are going to click on switch to business account when you click on switch to business accounts this menu will also pop up that says switch and then you click on it when you click on the switch you are good to go you don't need to do anything further so now that we have changed our personal page to a business page we need to make our page look like a business page and so what really can make your page look like a business page it's simple is the description at the top of your profile that will make people know what your business is about okay so if you look at my page here you see that i have a description of what i sell and how i do deliveries plus a link over the, that they can use to directly contact me so if you're starting an online business make sure that you describe what you're selling so that it makes it easy for clients to i mean understand what you sell plus a link to you that they can use to chat you up now, if you look on the page again, I do have some highlights over there where I've used to categorize my KT Fats, um, authenticated designs, my deliveries, and then the reviews. You can also create something like that so that it can create or um, make your business look credible. I personally believe that these things make your business look credible. Okay, so you can create something like that so that it makes it easy for your clients to trust you now to the main business of the day that is creating of the ad i'm going to choose this reel that i created and then run the ads on it so you see that at the bottom of the reel i have view insights and then boost posts so you're going to click on the boost post this is what's going to take you to the advertisement page so when you click on the boost post it's going to take you to this page where it says go select a goal what result would you like from this ad okay and from there you see more profile visits more website visits and then more messages now for the more profile visit this is the ad target if you want people to just look at your page and then go okay and then for more website visits if you want people to go to your real website you can choose this option as well and then for the more messages if you want people to contact you on instagram and then and chat with you about the ad that you are running you can also choose more messages this more messages has been really effective for me especially when it comes to me running ads okay so we are going to choose more messages and work away from there so if you click on the more messages it's going to take you to this page where it says instagram and then add your whatsapp business if you want the messages to be directly into your whatsapp business account you, you can add your whatsapp business account and then select it but i prefer the instagram option because if you choose the whatsapp it limits your ability to create a custom audience for your ads okay so i'll choose the instagram then we are back and then we click on next so when you click on next it will bring you to the audience page where you are asked to define your audience as you can see i do have um automatic promo can take graduation uk western and then create your own between the automatic and then create your own these are ads that i have created by myself okay for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to create a new ad set again so that you see so i'm going to click on the create your own where it will allow me to create ad targets for myself so when you click on the create your own it's going to bring you to this page where it says create audience the first thing you are going to do is to give your ad a name it's very important if you don't do that it's not going to let you proceed to the next stage okay so i'm going to name my ad that is let's say three ads kente and then when i'm done with naming my um audience i'm going to click on the location 
now for the location you see regional and then local if you want people around your locality to buy from you you choose this option okay and so when you choose this option you click on address and then the address will give you a lot of options so for instance if i want people only in kumasi i'll choose kumasi and then you come down they have radios as well now for the radius you can say that you want people that are 10 miles away from you or 50 miles away from you to see this ad and then the algorithm is going to recommend for you as fast as possible for me i prefer the original um, targeting because it gives you the opportunity to target as much cities as possible now this place to people make a lot of mistakes they just enter ghana and then they are off i i would recommend that you don't do that be specific with the locations that you want to target as much as possible this will work totally for you okay so i'm going to be specific here by first entering kumase and then the next one will be Accra, and then sunyani tema takwade okay so i'm going to do that and come back So these are the cities that i want to target you can target as much as you want nobody is going to stop you from targeting the number of cities that you want to target after the location targeting we move on to the interest target if you look up there you see that even without the interest we are already targeting 1.6 million to 1.9 million and so i'm going to click on the suggestions that they have given me so that i'll use it to create my interest so I'm going to go ahead and add as much interest as possible to my list. So you may be wondering why I'm adding the celebrities to the list. These celebrities also may have my target audience, okay? So that's why I'm adding their names to it. So you can also add as much celebrity names that you want in your interest targeting so after the interest targeting the next thing we move on to is the age and gender now because my page has a lot of insights and information i can easily see the age and gender group that normally visit my page so i'm going to show you how you can also see the age and gender group that normally visit your page so when you go back to your page you click on the hamburger icon and then you click on insights it's going to take you to this page where it contains the key metrics about your page for you now you see accounts rate accounts engaged and then total followers you are going to click on total followers and then you scroll downwards when you scroll downwards you are going to see the metrics that you are looking for so for me the age over here is my age target should be from 18 years to let's say 65 years but personally i've seen that people aged between 21 to 60 years are the ones who mostly buy from me and then it's both men and women that's mostly buy from me okay so i have 85 percent women and then 14 percent men and the normal circumstance i should be targeting more women but i like to keep my options open so i would target both men and women so let's go back to the age and gender page for the ad so as you can see over here i am sliding backwards to let's say 50 to 55 thereof that's where my maximum age limit should be and then my minimum age should be 25 years i am choosing the 25 to 65 years because i feel that these they are the ones who are working and they are the ones who spend most okay so that's why i choose that age group after the age and gender setting you move on to the budget and duration page this is where you decide that you set an ad for like six days or five days and then the budget that you use for it now mind you for this page the higher you spend the higher the number of people that you can reach okay but what i want to let you know is that if you do proper targeting you can make use of the one dollar daily for six days and then rake in as much sales that you deserve okay now i want you to take three things into critical consideration the first one is that when you run ads on instagram you are charged a vat fee apart from spending two dollars you pay an extra money for VAT. that is per the government of ghana's decisions okay so for two dollar ads i'll be paying 30 cents on it the second one i want you to know is that if you run ads it does not immediately take off 
it needs to run for consecutive like for three days before you can see anything out from it so kindly be patient when you are running an ad on instagram it takes time for the algorithm to kick in when you are running ads as well and then the third thing that i want you to do is that you should include the ad amounts that you are spending on the ad to your prices you spread it over your prices so that you don't run at a loss so we are going to go ahead and then finally click on next and then see how it goes another thing i would like you to know is that you need a visa card to be able to run an ad on instagram so if you don't have a visa card you can go to your bank and then discuss with them so that they give you one and then you can impute the details into instagram and then you are good to go once you are sure that everything is fine you click on boost ad and then it will take some time for them to approve it before the ad will start running for you